The band was basically founded by me and Jarpen. We were um, schoolmates. It was like all a rack, play rack, and we were playing riffs. That's where the first riffs came out for the demo, and some of those riffs uh, still survived until uh, here too. We were influenced pretty much by the same things, and that was the strong core of Elven King in the very beginning. Mi hanno fatto sentire un paio di loro pezzi che stavano componendo e devo dire che mi hanno stupito parecchio. Erano veramente il gruppo che stavo cercando. Si provava tre volte alla settimana, diventava un impegno non da poco. We wanted to be focused on writing songs and trying to put it somehow in a CD. We wanted to have the Elven King sound. It was coming from a classical background and uh, it was really fun to add the violin part in something more uh, modern. So I was really excited about it. Le tematiche parlavano comunque della natura, del paganesimo. This is not the typical power metal stuff. It's combined with a lot of fantasy elements and for some folkish elements. And so that's actually what got stuck with us. And that was basically the start. We went in Sweden, all the five of us, at Fredman Studios, where all these great albums has been mixed, so... It was a big emotion. Cinque bestie che ci vivevano per una settimana. Abbiamo conosciuto tanti musicisti, i ragazzi degli Inflames. And everything seemed cool, but then we had this, like, cold shower. The album was out, still no press release. If you have a good review there, you're in. If you have a bad review there, you're out. And of course it was bad. That was the first reaction to the album and we were just destroyed about it. The reviews was not very positive. We put 100% uh, of ourselves into it. We were not so sure about what we were doing. From there, something started to change inside the band. For Elm King, it took actually a little bit in the beginning until journalists realized that this band has potential. This left such a huge impact on me and it's funny how music travels and sort of unites people from different countries and in New Zealand as well. It's unreal, it's probably my favorite album from the band. When a band takes its own path and goes to one direction and makes the band recognizable, that's to be praised. That whole album set the level of folk metal basically. This is how pagan metal can sound. The odd thing is that nowadays people is telling us this is a gem, this is a masterpiece and the album is, is, is like having a new life.